Hey, how's it going? I am writing a book, and I think if you're a fan of this channel, then you might be interested in it. Let me show it to you. Uh, you may be familiar with, here it is, with this, the Game Engineer Super Duper Study Sheet. So this is like a Google Doc, which I've been working on for a while, and well, I mean several years, and you can check it out if you go to um, tinyurl.com slash gamedevstudysheet. That's how you can uh, jump on in here. And man, it's like 60 pages now. It's got a lot of content. And it's actually pretty close to being done, at least with respect to all the content that I wanted to focus on. And it's got me thinking about the form factor and whether or not Google Docs is the best environment for this kind of material. And ultimately, I've decided that I'm going to convert it into more of a book format on my website. So now if you go to my website, mrventress.net, and you click over here under other, getting into game dev, again, that might change a little bit, um, but it'll be somewhere under mrventress.net, uh, you will see the book version. So now I've poured it over just like the first two chapters, but what's really exciting about it, I'm, I'm so hyped to show it with you folks and to hear your feedback is, uh, so, you know, we've, like you can go here, you click bitwise operators and it'll bring you down to the bitwise operator section. You could leave a comment if uh, maybe I made a typo or something, or you have an additional question that I can clarify. And um, I've got like sort of paragraphs. So it, it's a little bit more teaching. So like the study sheet was originally just a reference sheet for me to have during interviews or during the work day. However, the goal here, you know, however, if, if you read the study sheet and you didn't like understand the concepts going in, then you're probably pretty lost with respect to why you would even need to know this stuff, um, or in some cases, what it even meant, you know, like references versus pointers talks about the, the differences between the two, but it never really describes what either of them actually are. Um, so that's kind of the main goal that I'm that I'm going to explore in the in this port. Uh, so it goes into greater detail, kind of explaining the differences and it, it's somewhat narrative and I'm trying to link together concepts and, and build on top of the previous chapters. But what I'm most excited about are these review questions or practice questions. So it'll give you a question and then you can push reveal solution. I mean, I, this is probably the most basic HTML. Um, for people who actually are web developers, I'm sure they can make it look much more pr pretty. Obviously, I know nothing about web development because this whole website's hosted on Unity. I mean, uh, on Weebly. But this little uh, pop-up, I think, is just exactly what we need in, in this kind of resource where it can give you a question and then allow you to uh, answer it and then compare against the correct solution. But... Uh, there's one more thing. I also need YouTube videos. So at some point, I'm going to also embed YouTube videos into this content so I can visually explain some of these concepts. Maybe not every chapter needs a YouTube video, but I think there's some, certainly when we start getting into vectors, where it could help. And then, I mean, even if it's not necessary, I think it would be useful because I'm the kind of person who often prefers a video explanation so long as it's concise. So if I can make it a, con a concise video for each one of these segments, and then I could post it to this channel, the YouTube channel as well, then I think that could be some really good content that people could benefit from. So maybe there's like a YouTube video here, um, you know, to describe, you know, this aspect or that aspect. And then again here, there's some practice questions uh, to kind of test your knowledge as I'm explaining these concepts. So it's very bare bones, super early prototype stage, I'd say, of what this sort of ebook would look like. Um, with these different chapters, but I'm really excited about it. And I, I wanted to show you folks because I think you might be excited about it too. And because every time I've brought an idea like this to my channel, um, there's been somebody in the comment section or randomly sends me an email who's like, oh my gosh, I've got this great idea. And then it just adds up and, and your great ideas added onto my great ideas. Uh, and some of my bad ideas can turn into good ideas um, as, a, as a result of that. So I, I really enjoy um, speaking with you folks. Oh, and then the other thing is I didn't get a chance to do this. I don't know. Maybe I should make a special video about it, but we recently, recently hit 1000 subscribers on the channel. So I'm pretty hyped about that. Maybe more videos. I know that was my new year's resolution to make more YouTube videos. So I'm going to keep doing that. And I think this could be a really good sort of like focal point for what those videos can be about. 
and how I'm going to structure my content in the future could be informed by decisions that I'm making with respect to how I'm going to sort this book. Because, um, I mean, th th this book has helped hundreds of people already. Um, and many of them have reached out to me telling them that, hey, I got the job because of the work you put into this. And every, every time I go into the sheet, there's some anonymous lemur or some other random animal who's, uh, <laughs> who's there hanging out, whether they stay for a minute or they download it and, and use this during all their um, interviews. It, it really helps to have the support. And, um, and ultimately, I built this, this for, for you folks, right? It's, it's, it's free now. Um, maybe I could make, maybe I could make like a ad or something. Like maybe I could put an ad on this page to make money, but I don't know. I don't really, I can't really think of how I would even monetize this if I wanted to go in that direction. I think, well, I mean, yeah, I could. If, if we ever made this into a printed book, that could be cool. So I kind of uh, meme on the cracking the coding interview, but that that book obviously is a bestseller. It's a very popular book. So if I could, um, if I could squish my content into a good shape, and then create a book out of it, that'd be pretty awesome. You know, the kind of thing that uh, you could buy off of Amazon or something like that. Even if it's just a PDF, I think that could be useful. And essentially, this website's going to become that book once I get into a nice format and I kind of pull it out of this. You know. What can sometimes be a little bit of messy, this Google Doc, once I once I get it all nice and formatted, I think we're going to be in a really good position. So I just want to make this video to share that with you. Hopefully you're excited about it as well. And let me know if you have any ideas on how it could be better or feel free to go to the site and, and throw a comment right in there. I'll see that for sure. Um, that's all. Thanks so much.